The function of the heart is to act as a pump to circulate blood through the body. How the heart can spontaneously contract is because of electrical activity in the heart. This electrical activity causes first the top chambers, the atria, to push blood to the lower chambers. Then the lower chambers, the ventricles, squeeze to push the blood to the rest of the body. An ECG is a moving graph of the electrical activity of the heart. If you've ever wondered how the heart can beat spontaneously, it's because select areas of the heart have the ability to create their own electrical impulse. These areas are the SA node in the right atrium, the AV node just above the ventricles, and the ventricles themselves. These are natural pacemakers for the heart. The most important grouping of these cells are in the SA node of the heart. The SA node is a small crescent-shaped mass of tissue in the right atrium. It's the main pacemaker of the heartbeat. The other pacemakers only take over if the SA node stops working. Conduction of the ECG waveform starts at the SA node and then moves to the next node just above the ventricles. This is the AV node. From the AV node, the impulses reach the bundle of Hiss. The bundle of Hiss acts as a pathway to carry the electrical signal to each ventricle via the right and left bundle branches. The impulses are then sent to the Purkinje fibers, which spread out the electrical activity through the ventricular muscle tissue. The first part of the ECG tracing is the P wave. It represents depolarization of atrial muscle cells. The next waveform is the R wave called the QRS complex. It represents depolarization of ventricular muscle cells. Finally, there's a smaller wave called the T wave, which represents repolarization of the ventricle. A common misconception is that the P and QRS waves represent atrial and ventricular contractions. They don't. They just indicate the pathway of electrical activity inside the heart. The reason this is important is because of a phenomenon called PEA. PEA is pulseless electrical activity and it's one of the most common arrest rhythms in dogs and cats besides asystole. During PEA, the patient's heart stops beating, but the ECG tracing can show a normal waveform on the monitor. In humans, the most common arrest rhythm is ventricular fibrillation. It's a shockable rhythm that can potentially convert back to normal sinus rhythm using defibrillator paddles. These paddles give a jolt of electricity to essentially restart a normal rhythm. Asystole and PEA seen in dogs and cats are both non-shockable rhythms. They don't respond to the paddles. So most CPR in dogs and cats relies on chest compressions, pro providing breaths, and using drugs to stimulate the heart. In the next video, I will explain how to read an ECG rhythm strip. So hit subscribe as well as the notification bell to find out when it's ready.